Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. The President approved the deployment of an additional 3,200 Marines to Afghanistan this spring to help NATO forces. 2,200 Marines from the 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit will aid the International Security Assistance Force. 1,000 Marines will augment the training and development of Afghan National Security Forces as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. They will help commanders in Afghanistan build on the military successes of 2007. Uh, they will also retain the initiative uh, gained during, or the initiative rather, during the 2008 fighting season. And they will enhance the training of the increasingly capable Afghan National Police and Army. The one-time deployment is scheduled to be about seven months long. The Surface Navy Association Symposium began January 15th in Arlington, Virginia, sharing ideas and technology with the surface community. The Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Gary Ruffhead, spoke about how important the deck plate sailor is to the new maritime strategy. My message to our sailors is that this new strategy is nothing without you. Your personnel contributions, your professionalism, your commitment are what will make this strategy work. The symposium runs through the 17th. Finally, USS Fort McHenry recently arrived in Gabon as part of the Africa Partnership Station. APS 2007 is a multinational force embarked aboard USS Fort McHenry and HSV-2 Swift, working to improve maritime security. This is the second visit to Gabon during the ship's seven-month deployment. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith.